Okay, um, I'm going to read a fiction piece I wrote in creative self-expression. When Jimmy walked in, he meant business. He had a long, powerful stride. His left eyebrow was burned off, and his left index finger, by the looks of it, had been bitten by some kind of animal. A snake tattoo curled around his arm. The crew cut in his blonde hair made him look not just mean, but furious. When he started talking, his breath smelled of hard liquor. He took out an expensive glistening watch and checked the time. I have half an hour. His friend Adam then said, I am bed. Jimmy spat in the ground and said, what is it? I want to race you across the border. First person there pays 50000 You're on, spat Jimmy. We meet at the abandoned lot down at Bob's and then race that 100 miles, said Adam. See you tomorrow. Jimmy was determined to win this race, so he had to get a good car. He went to his main man, Clarence, and told him the situation. I think I have the perfect one for you, concluded Clarence. He wheeled up a Ferrari 458 Italian. The bright red Ferrari shined like an emerald in his face. Jimmy now had a very determined thought that he would have a great chance of winning. Jimmy seemed to lose his breath for a second. Then he got his composure back. You would really let me use this? Yes, announced Clarence. You don't even have to pay me back. The next morning, Jimmy was ready. They both backed their cars to the fence where they would start this race. When Adam blew his horn, the race was on. Jim was smart and was conserving gas, but Adam wasn't. He zoomed off into the sun. Jimmy soon realized that he might have to speed up. So he put the pedal to the metal and zoomed. But fortunately for him, a cop car caught him going 70 in a 30 mile an hour zone. The cop gave chase, and Jimmy was forced to go in faster. Jimmy was starting to get flustered. He did not want to go to jail for 10 plus years, but he pushed that thought out of his head and focused on the race. Too soon, Jimmy was being forced to go through thin and narrow alleyways. Also, the whole army seemed to be chasing him. There were spotlights and a booming voice from a little speaker behind demanding him to stop his vehicle. Never screamed Jimmy and swerved and dodged the oncoming tra traffic. Jim was not ready to let Adam win the race, though. He made a sharp right, then another one. And just when it seemed that the cops had lost him, the familiar red and blue sirens were behind him once again. Panicked, Jimmy took out his handgun and aimed at the cops. Luckily, he didn't need it. Clarence had added some new features in this bad boy. Jimmy decided to use his first trick. He slammed his hand on the bright red button and nails dropped off the back of his car. The police could not do anything to dodge him. He rounded the corner and was greeted with fresh gunshots. These were gang members, and he had drove into their territory. They quickly jumped into the Mustangs and chased as he raced past. They were from both sides of the lot, joined in one alliance, catching Jimmy. Jimmy was aware of this joint operation and was not about to let it happen. There was a drawbridge and it was slowly moving up. He decided to run his car up one side and take a risk. He gunned it up the incline and took the jump at great speed. All the cars stopped, except for five. They did the exact same thing as Jimmy. Three made it, but two were not so fortunate. It's, they spiraled into the water and exploded, like a time bomb. But Jimmy did not have time to stop. He looked at his car's rearview mirror. He saw his nightmare. The cops and the gang members, who successfully followed him, are now right behind him. He started to get nervous, and then he panicked. He was afraid of the bet and of the gangs and of the cops. Bang! He got himself back to consciousness. He just realized that a cop car had just crashed into him, and he was surrounded by a colony of police officers. He decided to not give up, though. He was searching for a chance, a chance that could get him out of this annoying situation. Then a light bulb shined his head. He saw a truck with a gigantic ramp on it. He needed this chance. He started to shift gears, heard the clink as he stepped off the accelerator. He bumped through the crowds of cars rushing towards him, the wrecked Ferrari that he was driving. He bolted up the ramp and flew into the sky. He felt the pings of bullets on his car, but none hit home. When he landed, he realized that everything was not all right. His car was on fire. Jimmy quickly jumped out of his car and sprinted as far as he could away from that superb car. Right when he turned around, it exploded in a huge ball of flame. Jimmy thought fast and made a beeline for the nearest vehicle. This vehicle happened to be a Ford Mustang. He was out of range, so the police could not catch him. This had turned out to be a pretty good day. Well, he had not run the race, but at least he lived. This is all he asked for.